Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and our adventures with these teeny tiny adorable little chipmunks. Oh my goodness, actually, there's a lot of chipmunks all of a sudden. Oh dear. Oh my. You guys, I think our garden chipmunks have been having a lot of babies. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. They're so freaking cute. But welcome back to our Planet Zoo adventures here in Redwood National Park, where we are doing our best to get really hyped and excited about the Yellowstone trip that my beloved husband Chips and I actually have coming up later this month. Uh, and chipmunks are actually one of the small creatures that you can find in Yellowstone. Thus, they have earned themselves a place in the little garden that we are making here right over here in the Redwood National Park. And it looks like our chipmunks are actually feeling a little bit bored. Uh, oh, oh, look, yes, and this one hasn't been properly named. So that means we are getting a lot of chipmunks. We are getting a whole bunch of chipmunks. In fact, what is like the group noun for chipmunks? Could you guys look that up for me? Because you have like a business of ferrets, you have a parliament of owls, you have a kaleidoscope of butterflies, you have a pack of wolves, a flock of geese, a gander even of geese or ducks i can't remember which oh what that's so cool did you guys see that our educator just yeeted educator megan just yeeted an entire pumpkin over her shoulder for the chipmunks to eat that is so freaking adorable oh my gosh all right so we actually need to name these little chipmunks and then let's go ahead and let's give them a whole bunch of toys that would be so cute to be able to see them play with some things also we might want to go ahead and make sure that only the main pair with the uh like mother female agent cat and the father oscar i think we're gonna make sure only they can breed and we're gonna make sure none of the other chipmunks are currently breeding because that would get out of hand very very quickly indeed but all right so let's check this out i'm gonna pull up the comments from the last planet zoo video use our random comment generator and now some of you are about to become adorable little eastern chipmunks yes all right, so we're gonna come on over and we have got Tina! Tina, welcome, welcome! Uh, which chipmunk are you, actually? I need to see. Tina, you are actually, this will be our, is this gonna be our fourth? So Tina is our fifth chipmunk. So we need to like remember that. There we go. So this is gonna be Tina, the fifth chipmunk that we have ever had. I want to keep track of how many of each animal we have so that we can maybe have like a little party when we hit like a hundred chipmunks we can just like have chipmunk day we can give people like adorable little discounts on local foods and things i think that'd be so cute then we have another female and this is going to be rachel rachel welcome you are our sixth chipmunk and rachel you suggest making a huge wild mountain range with both predator and prey and that would be really cool but the predator prey interaction doesn't work very well in planet zoo uh but we will go ahead and try to make it look like a really beautiful naturalistic mountain eventually we're working on it I think the gigantic redwood cedar trees that we're using really help to already add a touch of that wilderness. All right, but let's keep going. Let's see. And these ones are too little for me to tell them, like, no breeding when they get older, but we'll get back to that. All right. And now our seventh chipmunk is going to be this little one over here. And this is actually going to be Crane. Shoebill Crane Kid. What a cool name. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love shoebills. I wonder if anyone has modded a shoebill yet because I would love to add a shoebill in. Oh, and we can just apply contraceptives across the line. I think we might do that for a little while. I might take it off. Yeah, I'll take it off the two parents, but that was a quick way to like make sure that nobody else is going to be having little baby chipmunks on us. All right, and then we have... Let's see, our seventh, seven chipmunks already. <gasps> and it's a star gold chipmunk male. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is actually going to be Jupiter. Cam, you suggested the name Alara, which is beautiful. It's a moon of Jupiter, which happens to be your favorite planet. You know what, we'll try to find something else to name Alara too. But for now, we're gonna have little Jupiter, our seventh chipmunk. I'm very happy about that. And let's try to get them some enrichment. All right, so what would a chipmunk enrichment item look like? Gotta think about this carefully. I, I want to sort of spruce up their habitat. Um, and it looks like we're finally making some money. Yes! Now that we have some shop income coming in too. 
Gosh, there's just gonna be so much to take care of, but you know what? I'm already invested in these chipmunks for like the moment, so we're just gonna focus on them for a little while. Let's try to get them some enrichment items. I think they share like a lot of the same curiosity as the meerkats. So if we like go to meerkat, I think things we put down for meerkats, chipmunks might also appreciate. <gasps> this is a tunnel! Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Can I bring this like up here so guests can see it? Alright, we're gonna put the little tunnel over here. Are you kidding me? Because this would be so freaking precious. These are little like chipmunk tunnels? Yes, please! Here, we'll just put a few of them down in like various spots. And then there's also this big termite mound. Which we could just imagine the chipmunks like rushing into because they enjoy adventures. Let's see, can I put another one maybe back here? We need to make sure the poor little chipmunks can actually reach these things after all. Alright, what about that? Hopefully they can reach that. Water jet enrichment, sprinkler, a tennis ball. Let's see, toys. I hope that tunnel will actually work well. Does that give them- oh, they need a little bit more toy, but they're really happy with their food enrichment. Oh, I really want to watch somebody use- please use the little tunnel, it's so cute. I would love to watch you frolic in the little tunnel. Are you gonna head over there? Oh, social? Oh no! We put the little tunnel too high and now we can't reach it in like the rest of the ground. Okay, okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. Alright, I'm trying. Alright, hang in there, little one. Oh dear, I need to like make a tiny little chipmunk path. He's so small, he can't make his way down. Can you get down now? Alright, Agent Cat can get down now. She was she was temporarily trapped. I hope that they can use all of these pieces, because that would be adorable. Let's see. We'll just have to wait and see. Alright. And they need a little bit more toys. So maybe I'll try putting one of these over here. And we'll put some tunnels in the back areas where they can actually, like, reach some of these spots. Let's see. Alright, good luck, little chipmunks. I hope you can reach that. Any takers? Okay, let's make sure they can, like, move around their habitat. Traversable area. Oh, no! Oh my gosh, you guys, I think our chipmunk garden is a little too difficult for some of our chipmunks. Here, I think we actually need to come in and I think we need to like remove some of these boulders. Which I never thought we would have to do, but then the chipmunks will have so much more area to roam. Poor little guys! Here, we'll put this down. Now they've got a big area. That poor chipmunk couldn't move anywhere. Okay, there we go. Now let's see about traversable area. We're just in the in the garden with the chipmunks today. Oh, look at that! They have so much more places they can reach now. They can't reach their toys very well though. I don't think. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna move out. You know what? We should just like move some of the boulders out of the way for these little guys. I wonder if I can just like prop the boulder up with another boulder. Like, can we just raise it like this? And then let's grab like a nice temperate rock, like a couple of those, and pile them up. Oh, little chipmunks, I'm doing my best. I did not, I really truly did not think I was going to be spending today with the, um, with the chipmunks. But I can't help myself because they're so precious. Uh, here we go. See, you can use these like little rock cladding. Okay, actually, I think these are temperate. There we go. All right, hang in there, little ones. There, and we can kind of like artificially make a a spot to hold these up. And now they can have like a little cave to go into and a little bit more room. All right, doesn't look very natural, but you know what? They need whatever whatever they need. We will provide. Also, we need to move that <laughs> this fern. Okay, gotta move the fern though. All right, let's go ahead move this. And you know what? We can add it over there to kind of hide how we have adjusted this area. But will that make it easier for them to play with their toys? Let's move this toy, like, down here. And let's check on the chipmunks. Was that good for you guys? Does that make life better? Oh, somebody's over by the tunnel! 
Kiwi, are you gonna go in the tunnel? Please use the tunnel, it'd be so cute to see. <gasps> oh, you're precious. Okay, Kiwi's just keeping a close eye on everything. Like, I need to be suspicious about all of this. All right, I think our chipmunk garden is going pretty well. And I would kind of like to add in a few more flowers, especially up along the edges here, so that we made sure that all of our chipmunks uh, like had a nice looking garden. And I would like to add in some info about them so that people can really like admire our chipmunks. Can you guys get around okay? Yeah, you're just all standing. Oh, look how much more room they have to roam now. Yay, this is a much better garden for chipmunks. All right, well, what kind of plants do they like? Grasslands, taiga, or temperate, North American plants. Um, some of them they're sort of fussy about. Oh, cool, now you can just straight up remove a plant species. <gasps> when did that get added in? Oh, that's so freaking glorious. I love it. I really love it. Um, but let's see, we'll, we could put some hawthorn bushes. It'd be really cool if when you clicked on the plant, it just like pulled up more plants for you. I would be really, really happy about that. But I think our chipmunks are going to be pretty forgiving about like any sort of plants we put in. So let's think more about what, what would I want to see if I was a guest? Probably a bunch of beautiful alpine flowers. And maybe some arrowwood bushes to kind of cover up the extra bits. <gasps> and some azaleas! Oh, I would love azaleas! Here, we'll kind of do a little bit of a mix. We're going to make a better chipmunk garden. <gasps> and then we should have a little garden shop! Yes! I love that idea! Alright, we're gonna make a nice little interior set, because the chipmunks can't even come up this high anyway. Here, we'll make a big azalea bush back here. Yeah! Big giant azalea bush. Little did you know, all you need to make a gigantic azalea bush is a whole bunch of small ones that you smush together. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty! There, and then we can kind of cover up some of the edges. And then we'll even climb up over... <gasps> Our red wolf is about to have more babies! What?! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that! I didn't even know she was pregnant! I've been so busy, like, planting azaleas for chipmunks! Alright, let's go see. The new birth of a red wolf pup is a big deal. Oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, here we go. Anya! Oh, Anya! We can go ahead and name her child Alara! Cam, what a beautiful, beautiful name. Also, I love that your avatar looks to be like a Jinyudik. They're one of my favorite animals. I think that the modders have actually created Jinyudik, and if that's the case, we are totally going to be watching them. Oh, look, Anya came over to her mate. Oh, did you hear that howl? That was so cool. Here, I'm going to move this moss out of the way because I can't, can't keep track of what they're up to. Oh, you guys. Here, while we're waiting for her... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's the moment. I think it's the moment. Wow, we should definitely get fame points for this. Come on. She's adding to the population of... Oh, little hell. She's adding to the population of red wolves, which is one of the most critically endangered canid species in the world. Less than 200 exist total, and almost every single one of them are in captivity and tracked. <gasps> Where's the pup? Oh no, it's just these guys having a nice chat. Wait, Anya, did you have your, your babies? <gasps> no, it is her pup! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a boy! Oh my goodness, okay. Here, we're gonna name him, how about this cam? We're gonna go with Alar. Uh, uh, Alar. Hmm, Alara? Let's go with Alar. L. R. Alar, there we go. So we're gonna go with Alar, and he is actually the fourth wolf pup, the fourth red wolf that we have ever had here in Redwood National Park. Oh, listen to him! I love his coloring! That is such a cool color for him to have too. All right, while we're in here, let's actually do a really quick swap through with short grass in a bunch of the areas where we're gonna be hanging out with them and watching them along with the guest. They have a huge habitat, as you guys can see. We made it a really, really, really big one. And we'll be spending more time with them in just a bit here. There we go. All right. Well, welcome Alar, the fourth of our red wolves that we have actually had. Also, habitat cleanliness. Oh my gosh, these 
These deer, I swear, they are just like poop machines. We're gonna need to have some sort of compost shop. <gasps> we could have a compost shop next to the cute little garden shop for our gardens for chipmunks, you guys. Also, why are these people running? Oh, they're just on their way home. Okay. Wait, mm, they didn't get like any education? That's it. You can do so many things in my zoo, but walk out of here without having some education? That, that cinches it. That like draws an absolute line in the sand. You are going to learn things when you attend any of my zoos and you're going to walk away feeling like you know more about the natural world and its wonders. All right, should we do Arctic board maybe? And then put down a little Arctic education board. Nice and carved. Maybe by some of the local groups. Oh, I really, oh, this one's so cute. This one's really, really, really cute. You guys, it has a little pine cone set on top. Oh, okay. That seems perfect for something about chipmunks. So we're going to lower it down a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and have it be about the Eastern chipmunk. So you're going to learn chipmunk facts. There we go. People are already stopping to see. Oh, somebody did not install this correctly. Huh. Oh no! <laughs> the chipmunk picture is missing! There is no chipmunk picture for the Zoopedia! Oh dear me! Hmm. How am I gonna fix that? Oh my gosh, you can do overrides now? That's right! <gasps> you guys! We could do stuff about population fragment sharing versus sparing, traditional medicine. Oh, I need to add in things like this. I really do, so that we can have our own custom pieces. I haven't messed with that since the huge update that added, so you can do like custom boards. I could do pictures I've taken of actual animals in real life. You guys have no idea how my brain just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And there's cute little videos I could have playing. Oh my word. All right, we'll have something on ecotourism for now because I think that that will be a good thing just to be like, if you're camping, keep an eye out for chipmunks. Oh, I'm so happy. This is so ridiculously adorable. All right, let's quickly finish up our little chipmunk garden because I do want it to just look super duper nice. A little over the top with flowers. But that's okay, because this is like people, one of people's first impressions of walking in to our place. And I want people to be able to look in and be like, oh, this looks charming. It looks like the chipmunks are so happy. Whoops. There we go. And we're gonna put just a few more. Touch over here, touch over there, there. See, isn't that nice? And then maybe we'll come in and we'll add in some of these bracken. Hmm, do we have a smaller version of the bracken? Ah! All right, come on guys, put on your gardening gloves. And, ah! <laughs> and help me spell bracken properly so that we can go ahead and add just a touch, just a few here and there. Kind of snuck in, there we go. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I thought I was going to need to add in more, but I think this will actually do really well. See, and doesn't that make this a lot nicer? Plants make everything better. <gasps> what? Our chipmunks are already about to die of old age? Are you kidding me? <gasps> no, Oscar! Just as we made you a special garden, Oscar, no! Just as we made the chipmunk garden glitter with the shiny, beautiful plants like all over the place, we lose a chipmunk? Oh no! Oh boy, what do I do now? Jupiter! I guess we, we go ahead and since Jupiter is an adult, like ready to go, also it needs more toy enrichment, um, I think we'll go ahead and we'll get another female for Jupiter whilst we're here. And I, I guess we're, we're going to come in. Um, we'll have Agent Cat go on contraceptives. And let's see if we can have a, a new chipmunk for the chipmunk garden. I feel like, I, I quite legitimately feel right now, just like parents who kind of rush to the store to replace the family, like, hamster before anybody notices something has happened. All right, what kind of chipmunk are they again? Chipmunk! What kind are you again? 
Let's see. <gasps> possums! Oh, I totally forgot I downloaded possums! It feels like Christmas every single time I open this, like, list of animals now. Mallard ducks! You guys, we need to make a beautiful duck pond next time. I'm telling ya. Alright, I probably zipped right past the chipmunk. I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. Alright, pink kitty, what kind? Eastern chipmunk, thank you. I knew that too, I even called them eastern chipmunks earlier. So eastern chipmunks are not the ones that I would expect to find in Planet Zoo. Or, ex excuse me, in um, Yellowstone, but... Let's see, fertility zero on this female. We'll go ahead and adopt this female. She was a customs seizure and add her on in. And then we'll have one last chipmunk to add in to the garden before the end of the day. All right, and I'm pretty happy with the garden too. I still think there's like a bit of editing and changing that we could do, like maybe remove these cattails, these flowers that are sort of like in the ground. That just makes it look a little nicer and tidier. Uh, and if the chipmunks still want more like toy enrichment, let's actually come in and let's try a tennis ball because that seems really cute. What if we had just a cute little tennis ball like right here that they could potentially play with? Is that is that enough enrichment? Yay! Yeah, that's actually a good amount of enrichment. I think they want like one more. So we're going to hide like one last tennis ball. Like right in here. And then maybe it'll bounce off and they'll be able to play with it. Does that count? Oh, that doesn't count. What? Okay, I think they want other types of enrichment. Oh, wait. Okay, good. Tennis ball's good. Hmm. Hmm. And you know what? Let's add in... Oh, a bubble machine! Okay, that's really cute. That's really cute. That's not something you would ever really expect to see for realsies uh, in a exhibit, but... Does that count? It counts! We're gonna have a bubble machine in the garden! I can't resist that. That is just too adorable. We'll try to make it look a little bit like a funky lily. And we totally added it in just because it makes Siri squee with joy. I, I can accept that. Alright, we'll make like... There we go, and then like a little lily, and oh, it's so cute! I love that! I want to use that as decorations in more of our areas! Oh, that's adorable, you guys! That is so cute! I love how we have updated their wonderful little area now. I'm really hoping more people will like donate for chipmunks. $10,000! I think more people are going to donate for chipmunks, friends. Just saying. Um, here, we'll go ahead and put another donation station. Yeah, that, that's a little too close to the fence. Alright, here we go. We'll sneak another donation station maybe right over here. So if people are so inclined after viewing our adorable chipmunks, they will go ahead and uh, add in some more funds. And then we need to work on some of the other concerns that the zoo has next time. But I'm really glad I got sidetracked by the chipmunks today because this was ridiculously cute. And we have also welcomed in another new chipmunk. May we welcome the new female who we will take off of contraceptives. And this is going to be Bailey! And Bailey, you are now the eighth chipmunk, if I have been counting correctly. Let me double check on that. And Bailey, you say in the comments that you have fed a baby deer before. So you fed a fawn? Okay, that seems really, really ridiculously amazing. I would love to know more about special animal encounter stories you guys have had. But all right, there we go, guys! Hopefully our little chipmunks will be very, very happy indeed. Uh, we might do a little bit more work just to move let's see habitat bedding small leaves oh <gasps> that's what that is oh so cute so cute <laughs> yeah we might do a little bit more work just to try to like cutify the zones even more but look at our little chipmunks i think they have a beautiful garden i'm very happy about this but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this big adventure in a tiny, tiny garden. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!